Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see it is Christmas time so I have all my decorations up. Um, so from the last uh, episode that we had um, when I renewed all this channel we were talking about um, you know Covid, lockdown, fitness, diet, going out the window um, for a lot of people having trouble um, and I guess I also did as well. Um, and when it came to lockdown, um, I just tried to keep busy and try to um, stay fit, stay healthy. So I guess for this part, we're going to talk about fitness and diet during the lockdown. Um, what I did, um, what most people did and the effects of it. Okay guys, so when we are talking about fitness during the lockdown, um, we're talking really about two things. So we're talking about strength and we're talking about endurance and uh, when it comes to that people went up and down during lockdown um, with these two aspects so we'll start off with strength so with strength um, as you all know you have to lift higher and higher of a weight to gain strength um, using lower weights it's probably good for someone who hasn't touched weights before and that would be that would be high weight considered to them but for people who are gym goers and athletes or people just who train in general heavy weights is how you're going to gain your strength now you're on lockdown and you have nothing available in front of you um, nothing heavy to lift you're going to lose what seems all of your strength um, and coming back to the gym is going to be so hard and has been so hard for some people because their normal warm up set has probably become their working set and even for myself the first couple of days coming back even for bench, squat and deadlift and overhead press all the warm up sets were near enough my working sets um, so things were a lot harder um, and the reason we were losing strength is because there were six weeks of us not pushing ourselves hard enough lifting heavy weights so um, our muscles just weren't being used or optimized to the level that we were used to. Now when it comes to the other side endurance I think that a lot of people actually benefited, benefited from this lockdown um, when it comes to endurance. So with endurance we're talking about people going out for running, walking, jogging, some people by the beach maybe even swimming but you know there was a lot of people who up their endurance, up their cardiovascular system, their cardiovascular endurance during the six weeks. Um, because I suppose they felt they wanted to get outside the house um, and the best thing to do was go for a run or go for a walk. Um, so a lot of people are coming back now into the gym or have been for the last week or so and feeling the benefits of that. But then there is a flip side to that coin and some people are gone down because for the people who did nothing, their strength is down and their cardio is down, um, meaning that their overall fitness level has dropped. So if you're one of those people, get back on the bike, get back swimming, get back jogging, get back walking, get back in the gym, lift those heavy weights and get your training right. Now the gyms have been open for the last two weeks, I think. Um, 
and you're all probably feeling doms and tired and ready to come back to work as well but this will eventually pay off in um, a week or two when you are feeling fresh well trained and hopefully with a good diet um, just well rounded this thing that I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about what I did during the lockdown to keep fit, to keep healthy and I suppose just to keep active and well um, in the head and to keep you know um, positive through the whole thing. So the next clip I'm going to show you is a clip of me during the lockdown and I've headed off for a walk um, to get a bit of fresh air and to keep active. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm back on here, I'm doing my daily walk. Um, as you can see, I'm going up a wooden trail and it's going to end up kind of at the top of a really big hill, a wooden hill, a uh, woodenness area hill and um, I'm going to finish the top of the rock it's called. So it's a little walk um, down in Anna's home place and uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice walk up just to get my steps up for the day and uh, to get me going. And at six o'clock, we have the core mobility. So like, if you're interested in becoming a better lifter um, or in sports and you want to get that more, you know, you want to get more mobile, um, being able to do mobility training, you know, once, twice a week is key to that. Um, so I'm having every Wednesday, I think there's two more weeks, of, two more weeks to go before we're back. And we're finishing up then, um, so hop on. This one is going to be full of shoulders, hips, ankles, um, and then a few core movements. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely hop on. Um, as well as that, if you've seen from my previous stories, I'm updating my YouTube. Um, I just think that I didn't put enough kind of interest or time into doing it. So I'm going to update the videos, better quality, um, you know, more information, just better overall really. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'll have a new YouTube up next week. I'll have stories showing up when, and I suppose we'll just go from there. But for now, I'm going to go up. These are called the steps and uh, get things done. So... I'm nearly to the top now, as you can see, we're coming up to the rock and I've been kind of keeping it a small up tempo just to get my hair going. My quads are absolutely killing me, but uh, yeah, so this is the rock. So, really nice view, but we can't be there. Exercise done. Home time. So, really what happened today was, I got up really late, but I decided to get my steps in, so I had a bit of food, and I headed up here as fast as I could. Um, this walk takes about, I don't know, I'd say about maybe 45 minutes, maybe just over depending on your pace but uh yeah so I said I get this um walk in go home have some more food um what I'm gonna have here is um I'm gonna have some rice um I think it's Mexican style rice I get it from Aldi um the carrots are good um and the fat fiber is high so we're not I'm not taking too many fatty foods even though I'm on a bulk really full of omega-3 go for your brain um, I'll have that then with just an array of vegetables so anything that I kind of want and I'll put a, tea, a tablespoon or two of any sauce so I suppose I'll catch you for food so we're back again um, so yeah so that was a little clip of what I was doing um, during lockdown um, the main things that I was concerned about um, was my weight and my fitness level. Um, and with these two things, really, um, I was just trying to maintain. 
um, with high intensity workouts and with um, keeping my diet on point. Now I gained a couple of kgs, I went from 92 to 94 um, and this was just from using my maintenance calories during my normal day routine, my workout periods and now transitioning, um, it transitioned into more of a bulk phase because I wasn't training as hard um, because I didn't have enough weights or equipment available in my apartment during the lockdown but since then I've taken off a kg and I'm back into all my training. Now the main things that I was doing was I was trying to get up early, I was trying to keep a nice routine and with a routine it kind of keeps you on track so I wasn't bored and snacking too much now. Um, I wasn't going to say that I was perfect, I definitely was eating a lot more snacks and a lot more treats than normal but I was trying my best to go against it. Um, so I kept up the healthy eating, I made sure that I had fruit and veg, all the basics to maintain a healthy diet um, and I suppose with the lockdown workouts that I was doing um, that kept me busy as well mentally um, so I was still um, being stimulated that way also it kept me fit because we had a lot of circuits so I definitely gained that in my um, endurance levels definitely rose during it uh, going for those walks and runs as well and the walk that you've just seen definitely helped out um, I suppose another thing that did help me was I kind of said to myself I don't want to come over this lockdown and my goals or my progress be diminished too much so I was kind of motivated to stay healthy now for a lot of people um, that was a lot harder but um, the biggest thing for me was staying motivated during the lockdown and that definitely kept me on track so that's the kind of big catch up I have for uh, COVID uh, the second lockdown we had a six week lockdown um, talking about fitness talking about um, what I did, what people did, what probably happened to you um, and what I was doing during the whole lockdown. So with that in mind um, and with Christmas coming up, um, my next video is going to be talking about my own training and things I learned during the lockdown period um, and a little more of a vlog to kind of, I don't know, get more in tune with this channel. Um, and to, for you to see more of my perspective on things um, training wise and method wise um, and just a little more look into um, who I am and uh, why I'm coaching and what I'm doing um, but for now I have a few Christmas presents to be wrapped so I'm going to finish this, get back to that and hopefully have another YouTube up soon um, and we'll get back into all new things and new content. I have a few new things coming up the alley um, so I hope to have that out here um, in the next week or two. Um, I hope to bring out all new content and to bring out more pages for people to join um, uh, to get into kind of a group of people who are motivated to stay fit and stay healthy um, on Facebook before I had a group called Tony's Top Tips and I laid out some um, you know meals and exercises and I talked a lot about them and I gave recipes out for free um, so I wanted to build this community um, up of people who were motivated to stay fit and healthy so I'm gonna make a new one um, nice and improved more videos more details and just better quality um, but I'll talk a little bit more on that on maybe the next one or make a full video on it the one after but for now I have to go but I'll see you this time next week on the next video